So we're continuing on here with uh, part four of inputs. So what I want to talk about is a really cool feature in Unreal called refraction. So I'm going to take all this stuff I don't need anymore, get rid of it. I'm going to also unplug the world offset over here. We don't need that stuff anymore. Right now I'm going to show you an example of a completely different thing that's going to continue touching upon transparency and those kind of effects with your materials in Unreal. So I've got my material here back to my basic kind of default setup that I started off with at the beginning of this series of videos. And you can see down here refraction is grayed out. We can't use it. So in order to be able to use refraction, I'm going to go to the material settings and I'm going to switch back to a translucent material. And that's going to give us our opacity uh, parameter back. Okay. You also notice that refraction becomes active. I'm going to turn off the two-sided flag, which I had turned on in a previous video. Don't need that on. Okay. So now we've got our translucent material. We have the ability to use opacity, but we also have the ability to use refraction. And that's pretty much what we're going to focus on in this video. So I'm going to take my texture here and plug it into the opacity. And that's going to give us our, our checkerboard opacity that we saw in an earlier video. So if I go back, update this, and check it out, this should probably look familiar from one of the earlier videos where the black checkerboards are invisible and the white ones are completely opaque. We can't see through them. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much simulate a phenomenon that happens with light in real life. In real life, when light passes through something, it can actually become distorted. The photons of light can actually be redirected. Um, the way they're focused can change, things like that. So I've got this image here that I created, and it looks kind of like a, a brushed metal, a vertical brushed metal. And uh, you can use whatever image you like. I'm going to use this one, plug it into the refraction. And that's going to give us an interesting look to our material. So I'll jump back in here in Unreal. And you'll notice here we get this sort of distortion in the areas that are transparent. And it kind of looks like glass that is being distorted. So it's not polished, perfectly clean glass that you would see in the window of your living room. This looks more like what you would expect to see, say for example, if it was raining outside and your window was covered in water and droplets of rain were kind of just uh, smeared across the glass surface. When the light passes through, the light changes uh, direction temporarily and that's called refraction. And that's what you see with your eyes when you see this distortion. This is something that happens in the real world. So we can simulate this in Unreal by using the refraction input in your material. And this could be used for lots of interesting things. You can use it to create uh, rough looking glass in your games. You can use it to also simulate uh, rain and stuff like that, kind of flowing down uh, a piece of glass or window and stuff like that. So it makes things look realistic. It's also extremely useful for things like particle systems. If you need, say, for example, uh, sort of an energy burst that looks as if though it's um, kind of bending light or just has a high amount of energy. And if, if you look at uh, slow motion, high speed footage of real life explosions, you can actually see a, a refractive effect from the sheer energy of the explosion um, going outward from the epicenter of the explosion. So things like that can be simulated using this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make things a little bit more interesting. I'm going to take a panner node and I'm going to set the speed in Y, which is the speed up and down, the vertical speed here to about negative one. And if I look at my little texture sample, it looks as if the texture is falling down. It's just constantly scrolling downward, almost like rain. Now this image isn't the best piece of artwork. I kind of put this together in two seconds just to use as an example for this video. If I wanted to, I would sit down and do a really good texture of rain uh, coming down. But this will suffice for this example. So let me slow that down to about negative 0.25. And if I jump back over here to the viewport, update this, what I basically have is an effect where the texture is going from up to down a little bit slower. and it kind of well it doesn't really look like raindrops again uh, this is just for an example but you can start to see how you can get uh, a refractive texture to kind of simulate 
water flowing down the side of a surface. It could be rocks in the waterfall. It could be rain in a dark alley in a city somewhere for your game. Or it could be your players inside a house. It's raining outside and thundering and you see like uh, rain coming down the, uh, the outside of the glass and break up the light with this refractive um, property. So it's a pretty cool effect. I uh, encourage you to totally take advantage of it and use it to create more convincing effects and more realistic environments for your players.